Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. I am 34 years old and I am the wife to a Marine Corps veteran. I am the mother to three wonderful children, ages 15, 12, and 11. And we have a fur baby, which is Summer, a beagle and pit bull mix. My channel is a variety channel aimed to inspire and motivate you to be better prepared. We do gardening, prepping, to try to save money, and all of that. So if you enjoy the content, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to look in the description box because there's different links that you may be interested to in. So, I will see y'all in the video if it's Jehovah's Will. Alright y'all, so I had to kind of track the supply to get some feed and stuff for the chickens. So I wanted to bring y'all along so we can see what chickens they got. See how everything look and all that good stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I don't know how much I'll be able to talk. I may have to do a voice over because I do hear music and they be jamming, okay? <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay y'all, so like I said, the music was playing. So yeah, y'all, so I went over here to show y'all what they got left in the garden center and what the garden area, and y'all see, oh my goodness, people been getting a lot of this stuff, you know, and that's a good thing. I did see that they got goji berries, and I think I overlooked the goji berries the last time. I don't remember saying anything about goji berries, um, but as you can see, they still got seeds. Um, I know they was fully stopped, of course, you know. When the season first came in and all this stuff. Uh, but they still got a good amount of seeds. Some areas are lower than the other. Right here was a pretty little cooler. I like that color. And I don't like blue that much. We had one of these. Um, we had got from Lowe's. It was just brown a couple years back. It's on wheels. Really, really nice. Look at the chicken stuff up there. All the chicken stuff right here. Um, so, yeah, they got the grilling stuff out. And... All that good stuff. Um, so yeah, we just I just went around. I came in here to get some oh some feed. Okay, so I am putting my chickens on scratch feed. So I have the two little baby ones. Um, so they'll still be on the starter up um feed, but I started putting scratch feed in the other chicken things because they are at their age to start, you know with the stretch or whatever um so yeah so that's what i came in here for um so yeah as we went down this what was i going what was i going see that's why i, I like the music when they playing but then when you're doing the voiceover because i don't know how to take the music out the background it's all right i'll figure that out in due time so coming around here to the chicken stuff y'all the chicken stuff has, has gotten even higher, of course, because everybody is getting their chickens. Chickens is coming in. More people is getting them that, you know, never thought that they was going to be getting chickens. So they know that and they taking their prices up. So I was looking at these um, Do More, which is pretty much Perino, but the name of it is Do More. Um, I was looking at those and I was tr trying to find the... Uh, what is it 20 i think it's 24 percent or 20 percent is the chick startup it's one of them but it's the chick startup and i didn't see none until we got on down and i was trying to the um figure out if i was going to do um the 50 pound bags of the do more i wanted to do that but they didn't have none but then we saw up top right there they had the smaller 10 pound bags so i ended up getting two of those and then i got two of these scratch feed um, this is the scratch feed that I end up getting is six grain scratch. And by the time y'all get this video, um, they gonna be already been eating on it. Um, so yeah, it, they doing very good on it, having no issues. Always make sure you turn the bag over and see the stages of growth before you give them anything. And yeah, my chicks are able, not the little baby chicks now, they're going to be on the startup food for the first I'm a, I do like six eight maybe 12 weeks um you know of growth and then I would change them over but yeah so 
it's good not being able to, well not having to give the chicks that's outside in the coop the startup fee anymore i'm taking them straight to scratch grain and then from scratch grain i will be incorporating other stuff and then i will incorporate um the layer pellets as they start laying okay but with some more stuff some more homemade stuff to so make that food stretch okay so that's what we was looking at right here just zooming out looking at what they got so y'all can see how the shelves are because they was well stocked on them 50 pound bags but as you can see mm -mm, they was out of it because that was scratch grain right there they was out of the startup and that like i say that is um that's that's normal because of the fact that um a lot of people has been getting their chickens okay so they're gonna need that startup so yeah so that's what we got right here and we're gonna go throughout the store um to look at a couple more things right here we were just looking at trying to figure out what what the um what we to make sure we weren't overlooking what we needed but we ended up getting the 10 pound bags anyway Here you can see um, we actually figured out that it was up top. Um, trying to get it so I can make sure y'all see what the bag say because of the percentages um, on there. So yeah, they was very top. So make sure that when you are in the stores um, and you don't see a particular item that you need, make sure that you look up top because up top nine times out of ten be the overstock area where the stuff that was level they could not put. Um, on the top. I know when I worked at Walmart, that's what we did. See, yep, it's 20%. So um, I ended up getting two bags of that for the startup for the baby chicks. And then over here, the waterers. I got different plans for waterers and feeders, but I did grab two because I needed them um, right then um, for to put for extra food out there because those white chickens was just oh my goodness just keeping them from eating so i had to put food immediately in different areas these right here has one up they was 4.99 for a two pack now they are 9.99 for a two pack those are the little watering um things that you can put in the buckets and it makes it easier and you lose less water from them not drinking it they i got another plan for that because that is like i say 9.99 for a two pack when they used to be four dollars and 99 cents so just little things like that that's going up because they know people want them but what we're trying to do we're trying to do cost effectively because i don't have money to be just spending like that when there's other ways to do it okay so yeah so i ended up not getting those i was debating about it but i ended up you know not getting them that's just too much it was just too much y'all just too much money for just two of those because i would need like maybe six around each bucket that's what i was planning on doing about six around each bucket so i was gonna have to buy a lot okay y'all so something else i came in here for was some of the um 10 cans i mean the garbage can the 10 garbage cans and yeah they didn't have any they had the um i think it was 30 gallon ones um, they only had the lid for those. They didn't have the can. So when I got to the register, I asked the lady and she said, yeah, we got some 10 gallons. I'm like, well, I'll take the 10 gallon for now. She's like, but yeah, we don't have no lids for those because somebody came in and bought all the lids. And I'm like, wait, why did y'all let them buy the lids and not the containers? Because now people that want the lid in the container don't have a matching I don't understand, but that's what happened. Okay, so I couldn't get those. So I wanted to show y'all right here too. They still got onions and stuff. I had came around, was finna go through the line, um, to get in line and go check out. And this is some stuff they got over here um, on the other side of the garden area. So yeah, so I just wanted to give y'all a little look-see at that. Um, so y'all can see where, you can tell people been buying. Look at that miracle grow, y'all. You can say, oh, y'all know I'm a miracle grow person. You can tell. You can tell that people has been buying that. So, yeah, the little trees that was on sale and stuff, they about gone. Little apple tree, the dormant trees and stuff like that. Mm hmm so This is what we got, y'all. Two bags of the starter up so I can mix the scratch frame. And then I got two bags 
of the short grain. And I got two more feeders uh, so I can put it out there with them. So that's what we got so far. Okay, y'all, so that's the end of the video. I hope you were motivated. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload a video. And also, check out the information in the description box below because it has a lot of links to different things that you may be interested in. So with that being said, y'all be safe, and I'll see you in the next one if it's Jehovah's will. Bye.